coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas. It is tribe time. I am your silent co-host, C Day. Hi. <laughs> and now presenting your host of Tribe Time, your girl. Mrs. Q. Boom, 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 boom. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> How are you today? I hope you are having a blessed and wonderful day today. Um, your girl, Mrs. Q, and not so much. We, we in pain this morning, but we're going to persevere and we're going to press on like we always do for real for real okay so um y'all have the cj lovers have seen cj unfortunately this is tribe time not mrs q time so we're gonna go ahead and get started sorry i apologize for my tardiness um but i had to bring everything back downstairs because i had planned on being upstairs but I couldn't take everything upstairs. <laughs> so we're back downstairs. <laughs> All right. So I hope y'all have y'all beverages this morning. Okay. Because we're going to be sipping water. And darn it, I turned the screen the wrong way again. My camera's over here, but the chat's over here. Why can't it be over here? <laughs> All right. So if it looks like I'm looking to the left a lot, that's because I'm trying to pay attention to the chat. And um, yes, I'm trying to pay attention to the chat. All right. So let me get my glasses. Oh, I can see. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this thing started started all right so let's see who's in the chat this morning and um don't forget if you like trial time don't forget to thumbs this video if you have not subscribed don't forget to click subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get more notifications of when me and my tribe sisters are on okay okay all right hi sis what Hi, Sandra Covington. Hi, Kimberly Mines. Hi, Patty Perez. Good morning, Carmen Hawkins. Good morning, Rosalind Ellis. Let's see. Good morning, Delise Harvey. Let's see. Who else is here? Da, 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 da. Hi, Sabrina Smiles L. Nice of you to join us today. Hi, DJ King. Good luck on your replacement. I haven't saw your last video, so yeah. Anyway, hi, Beckham. That posted in the wee hours of the morning, that's why. Hi, Heartstrings 10, Spring 2011. Hi, Diane Brody. Let's see who else is here. Is that everybody? Hi, Brina 1971. So glad you're here. Hi, Shani Boo. Welcome. Hi, Beverly Johnsons. Hope everything's going well today. Hi, The Closet Dive, my favorite enabler. I'm trying to return the favor, y'all. She know what I'm talking about. Hi, Patricia Williams. Hi, Regina Ferguson. Hi, Rhonda Robinson. Hi, Veda May. Let's see. Hi, Sunny Skies 151. Hi, Denise Mayhaus. Did I get your name right? Hi, Rhonda Robinson. Hi, Lawanese Fowler. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Penny Berry. All right. Again, don't forget to thumbs up this video. All right. So, <clears throat> let's get started. Um, well, as you know, I'm a planner. No ifs, no ands, no buts about it. I'm a planner. And one of the things I usually always plan for, well, I didn't plan to go out today, but I forgot I have to go out today. <laughs> 
for real, for real. Okay, even though, because I was just going to be like, bump it, I'll check the mail next week. Nah, we got to do that today. Okay, so, our plans, my husband would tell you our plan, I usually plan it down to the T, down to the last neck bone, he always say. <laughs> so, I'm one of those people that I plan and then I execute, okay? Now, when I am traveling, my husband says I'm the queen of packing. I pack well, and I thought I was the queen until I saw Sandra Covington packing a few of those small little, little bags. How far teen quack? <laughs> so uh, I guess I'm the princess of, of packing. Maybe the queen of packing in this house, but the princess of packing when it comes to packing things. Now, so I did plan for... When I travel on another cruise, uh, as many of you know, the tribe is hitting the seas in a week or so, and we're going to have a good little time, but until, well, not everybody's going, but, you know, we're going. So, I bought some things to prepare, some things that I don't have that I wished I had the last time I traveled and the last time I went on a cruise, I even watched videos to prepare for cruising because if you've never gone on a cruise before or if the last time you've gone on a cruise has been over 10 years, trust me, things have changed, okay? So, this is my thing. Regardless of if you're going on a cruise or if you're going to resort, if you're going to go somewhere, you need to plan. And if you're going to be gone for a certain length of time, you need to plan to pack what you need. Now, your mode of transportation is going to dictate what you're taking as far as packing-wise, whether you're going to take a suitcase, a carry-on, you know, things of that nature. So your mode of transportation, because if you're driving and then you're getting on the boat, or if you're driving, period, and then getting to the resort, or if you're driving, staying in a hotel, or if you're fine, staying in a hotel, if you're driving, staying in a hotel, and then getting on the boat, all of those things play a part. So my advice to you is to plan, okay? Try to do as much of it in advance as you can because... Some of y'all know sometimes it's a spur of the moment thing. So a friend might, somebody might have canceled out on a friend. They have extras and, and would like to know if you want to go. And you never know. It might be a trip of a lifetime. So let's get down to what y'all came here for. What you came here for. Show me what you came here for. Okay, so I'm going to be showing y'all a few things that I ordered and uh, Mr. Q wants unpacked by the time I leave. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> okay. Hey, as long as I know what it is and where it is, that's all that matters. But, hey, we going to, yeah. So, first things first. If you have never cruised before, okay? Now, they make it look good on TV if any of y'all seen the love boat. Oh, God, I just told my age. Well, I don't care. Like I told the lady the other day, I'm seasoned, honey. Okay? So, uh, some people get motion sickness, okay? If you're one of those people that you've been on a just a regular boat, even if it's a rowboat, speed boat, whatever, and you get seasick, you need to prepare <laughs> because you will get sick. Now, for those of us who don't have vertigo or, you know, some of us will get our sea legs really quick. You're going to get on the boat. You're going to feel the motion at first. Then after a while, you get used to it. And the reason why a lot of times you feel the motion on the boat as soon as you get on is because the boat is docked. And it's in the water. And just like with anything in the water that floats, it moves. So be prepared. Forearmed is forearmed, okay? So if you think you're going to get sick, Get you some motion sickness medicine, okay? You don't want to be on the ship buying that because it's going to be expensive. For real, for real, okay? So, 
And it's okay. And I, the boat is not for everybody. I ain't gonna lie. I want the cruise, want the cruise, want the cruise, and then Titanic came out. Didn't want to cruise no more. <laughs> but Mr. Q got a really good deal on the cruise. So we ended up going because we had never had a honeymoon and we had the best time of our life. Now, I will admit, five days is my limit, okay? Because we was on that ship for four and I was ready to go on day three, <laughs> okay? So that's part of the thing about being in a cruise. You got to travel to where you're getting to. And the ship has some things to keep you occupied in the meantime. However, if you don't think the things on the ship are going to keep you occupied, then you need to bring your own entertainment, okay? Whether it be a book, an iPad, you know what I'm saying? Another thing you need to do to prepare is you need to, if you're on the cruise or you're going to a resort, you need to do your research before you go so you know what amenities they have, okay, and what activities they're going to have. You know what I'm saying? Because it might not be what you're into. Some of us are just homebodies. I ain't going to lie. I'm a homebody, but I get out sometimes, okay? I don't like the casinos. Casinos is not my thing. I know y'all wondering why the heck you going to Vegas. I like shows, okay? That's my thing. So if they have some shows, maybe a little karaoke. We can get our laugh on at each other while we murdering the hits. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Those general typical things. I like Uno. I love Uno. So y'all already know if you see me coming, I'm going to have a pack of Uno cards in my suitcase. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now, I'm, I'm just saying, plan for your own entertainment. Don't 100% depend on them to provide your entertainment because just like you, they have to have a little downtime to prepare for the next thing. So be prepared. Do your research on where you're going. So you know what there is to offer as far as amenities, excursions, and things to do. Okay? So now that we've got that out of the way, <laughs> you need to prepare your coinage. Because once you find out what there is to do and all that good stuff, you need to figure out how much money you're going to be taking on this trip. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I travel, I solely use my cards because I want to keep track of what I'm spending but if you feel like you need to take your little cash, take your little cash. I'm one of those people that I take cash, but I mostly use my cards to keep track of my purchases. I can't tell you when the last time I went to the ATM. I know it had to be at least three weeks ago, and I need to go again because I'm down to my last $6. Yeah, uh-huh. And normally when I go, I get a couple hundred. You see what I'm saying? That I'm, I'm just being real. I'm just being for real, for real. But you always need to have at least a little bit of cash because you never know when you're going to need it, when the car readers aren't working. Trust me, you do not want to be on vacay and the car readers are not working. And all you brought is your card. They don't do travel. I mean, they do travel checks, but not many people take travel checks anymore, okay? Tell my age again. I ain't never used it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> all right. And that's, a good, that's my next suggestion, Rosalind Ellis. Make sure that you check your balances, okay? Because you don't want to have any type of charges that you don't recognize, all right? So when you're going, when you're traveling, this is the time you need to invest in you some RFID, you know, even if it's just the little cards that you stick in your wallets, because let's face it, not all companies make items, wallets, and that things of that nature with RFID, Okay? Somebody said, Miss Kimberly. <laughs> Miss Kimberly said she used to use travel check. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I've never used a travel check before. Now, Mr. Q is a different story. Mr. Q is five years older than me, so that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, make sure you take as far as identification. We own identification now. As far as identification, because we done got to the change, okay? So you know what you're taking. But as far as identification, you need to make sure you have, one, your passport on you at all times. A passport is a hard thing to get. So if you lose it, you already know it's a hard thing to replace. And you don't want people walking around trying to impersonate you or with your info. For real, for real, okay? 
Number two, your state driver's license. You need to have that. You never know. You never know. You might get stuck somewhere. I'm just saying. <laughs> Rosalind Leathers, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Rosalind Leathers says she does cars for vacay and cash for tipping. See, that's what you need cash for. So if you're in that per that in that habit of not really carrying cash, you need to get you some cash, okay? It don't have to be a whole lot, a lot, a lot, but you need to have enough. Like she said, she uses for tipping. And you know, we'll we'll get to that later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we on identification. Make sure you have your passport and your um your driver license. Now, what I did. Because when we're going on some of these excursions now, I know I'm not going to want to have my passport, okay? You could buy things to put it in there to protect it in case it get wet. Or I'm pretty sure your room will come with a safe. I bought the, not only the passport booklet, but I also bought the card, okay? Um, it, it was only a few dollars more. I mean, come on now. In the long run, have I ever used my passport card? Yes, I have. I'm just saying, for real, for real. So, it comes in handy. All right? Now, you want to have you at least two credit cards. Not your debit card. You, you can bring that too. I'm just saying, in conjunction to, you need two credit cards. And this is the reason why. If one isn't working, you have your backup. Because... Not all credit card systems run on the same system. And this is what I mean by that. Those of you in retail, y'all already know what I mean. Different uh, credit card companies charge different fees for a reason. I think Discover charges the most for when you use your credit card. Mm -hmm, for real, for real. And what if the systems are down? This has happened to me before on vacation, and this is why I'm telling y'all this. What if the systems, the credit card systems, are down? And that is the only card you have. You don't want to be stranded nowhere without any means to monetary means. Okay? Without any... Okay. All you need is two credit cards, maybe your debit card, your passport, passport card if you have one, and your driver's license. That's it. Okay, all them other store cards and crap, leave that mess at home. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you lose your wallet, it's going to be a headache trying to cancel all those darn cards. And you already know you ain't going shopping with all them cards, so why do you got them? And sometimes we as women, we're pack rats, and we don't like to, <laughs> we don't like to leave all our stuff at home. I'm just saying, these are just some tips that are helpful for me, and I'm sharing them in case they're helpful for you. Okay, okay. So now we got the car that you out the way. Now let's get back to this tipping thing. In some countries, you do not tip. However, when you're on a cruise or you're going to a resort, unless they tell you otherwise, you should tip. I'm just saying, you, you, you should tip. Some of these people, you have no idea how much they make. Some of them make the bare minimum, okay? And I do mean the bare minimum. Some of them travel to a different country just to work. You'd be surprised how many people that work on a ship are from different countries who are hired just to work on that ship. Now, imagine if they're on that ship all week with you, imagine if they got to go on the ship when it turns around and go back out. So, you know, they have not seen their families. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, most people go where the work is. So, I'm just saying, if you can, tip. If you can't tip, don't put yourself in the hole trying to tip. Because ain't nobody going to pay your light bill for you. Okay? Now, there are some times when it's okay to be selfish. This is one of those times. The same thing with tithing and offering in church. If you need to pay your bills, you pay your bills first. Okay, I don't care what nobody say. Because trust me, if I can't afford to pay my light bill, I know there's only basically one person I can call, and that's my brother. He will pay my light bill for me, but he's not going to make it no habit. And I'm going to have to get a sermon to get it paid. 
Ain't nobody got time for that? No. <laughs> uh-uh. I don't know about y'all. I don't like sermons. <laughs> Directed at me or what I should have, could have, would have did. No, we don't do that. <laughs> now, so like I said, if you can't afford to tip, then you tip. If you can't, then you can't. Don't feel bad because, hey, nobody knows what you did or how long you saved to take this trip. So I'm just being honest. I'm just saying, for real, for real. Okay? So now, we done got all the traveling tips out the way as far as you know, intermediate things, planning and things of that nature. But we're not through planning yet because now how are we getting there to this destination that we're going to? Well, Mrs. Q is flying. Hi. And she's staying in the hotel. And then she'll be going to the ship because I don't like to do last minute because to me, when you last minute travel, a lot of times you end up missing out because once that ship leaves, now, if you are a person that normally is not on time, if you ain't ever, 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 ever been on time before in your life, you better make this the first time you're on time. Because, honey, when the ship say it's leaving and to be back at a certain time, you better be back at a certain time. Because guess what? The ship will be gone and you will be stuck. And the local port, oh, yeah. Sure, they'll have... A way to get you back to the ship. But it's going to cost you. And if you think you saved to get on that boat. Imagine how much money you going to owe when you get off that boat. <laughs> for real. For real. This is not a game people. You better be on. This ain't like when you take one of them bus trips. And they wait. You hold the damn bus up. No, 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 no. The ship will leave on time. The only thing that would prevent the ship from leaving on time is malfunctioning with something of the engine of sorts. You better be on time. A helicopter ride to drop you off on the ship ain't no joke. Think how much fuel it costs to put in that helicopter. I'm just saying, think of how much the person that flies the helicopter make. Okay. Uh... To put you on a speedboat or yacht or whatever to get you back to the ship. Okay, this ain't stuff I, I this is stuff I didn't experience. I ain't making this crap up, I'm telling you. Okay? <laughs> That's gonna cost you money. So be on time. We have everybody has one of these. Everybody has one of these. If you don't have one of these, something is wrong. Somewhere. Everybody has a cell phone. Regardless of what operating system it's on, everybody has a cell phone, and everybody's cell phone has a calendar. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to blind y'all. It has a calendar, and it has a clock in order for you to set your alarms as well as a timer. You better put it on. That's all I got to say. Plan to arrive on time, or you will be left behind. Okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, for real, for real. Okay, all right. Thank you, Beverly Johnsons. That was going to be my next suggestion. Make sure you set your alarm one hour prior. So in case you're in the middle of something, you have enough time to make it back. That's with any excursion you go on. I, I don't care with any group you on. I mean, come on now, be courteous to other people because if you're on a bus trip, that is really foul to hold up the bus trip to wait on you. When you had the same ample opportunity to go wherever like everybody else. I can't stand crap like that. Okay, so I'm just saying, for real, for real, make sure if you are on medications, do not pack your medications in your luggage that's going under the plane if you're flying, okay? Put it in your carry-on. And that's part of the reasons why I bought other little stuff. You know, like I said, we'll get to that in a few minutes. We, we getting there, y'all. Okay, so these are chips. This is me preparing to travel, okay? So now I got my medication. I got my excursions together. Um, I got my luggage. <clears throat> Speaking of luggage, okay, think about the weather. Pack accordingly, okay? 
Don't be out there in full fledged jeans about to pass out in 100 plus degree weather. I'm just saying, for real, for real. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I'm just saying, for real, for real. And, be, and expect to be hot. You're going to a tropical destination. Please don't be that person that's out there at the beach talking about, oh my God, it's hot. Who is so is hot? Oh my God, I, I can't, this heat, I can't. No, I can't do you, okay? We know it's hot. Okay, if you're going to mention it, mention it one time and move on. All right, we know it's hot. We out here with you. <laughs> for real, for real, I'm just saying. <sighs> Make sure you take you some beverages to keep you hydrated. If you're going to be out in the sun, and I don't care what your skin tone is, make sure you get some sunscreen, okay? Something light. You need to go on and test that out right quick. Some of us automatically wear it in our, um, our moisturizer on our face. That's why I always buy it because I don't have to think about it. It's already in there, but make sure you get some sunscreen, okay? We don't need you burning yourself because, trust me, sunburn is not pretty and it don't feel good at all. Come on in, Dooney at 615. Hi, Patty Perez. I'm just saying, sunburn is not cute. Trust me, I learned that at the age of 17. My, I, that's all I got. To, we ain't going to even go into that. Get you some sunscreen, people. My husband, one of them people, and y'all, I don't know if many of y'all know this or not, but my husband is a beautiful chocolate African-American man. Hallelujah, yes. Mm. But in his mind, he don't need lotion. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Q, I, I'm telling it. <laughs> Hi, Diane Brody. He, he thinks he don't need lotion, and he thinks he does not need sunscreen. I make him put it on. <laughs> I don't care. I make him put it on, okay? Even if I'm putting it on, he think I'm putting lotion on him, it'd be sunscreen. He, he don't care. He, he, he a man. Y'all know how some men are, okay? So, please do that for yourself because, you know, skin cancer is real. There is a such thing as skin cancer, and you can get it from the sun. I'm just saying, for real, for real. Some people are actually allergic to it. I didn't know that was possible, but my little cousin is. So, make sure you buy you a nice sunscreen with a good SPF. Don't know what you need? Ask your doctor. But to me, SPF of 30 or greater is really good. Okay, so that's just me. That's just me. Okay, all right. So, got our sunscreen. We're protecting ourselves. Okay, so then, like I said, check the weather, dress accordingly, pack accordingly. Okay, so let's get on to this packing thing. I'm one of those people that I'm sometimes over prepared. I'm going to attempt not to overpack. You know what's going to help me not overpack? The fact that I got to fly to where I'm going. <laughs> for real, for real. Now, can I recommend luggage? Honestly, it's up to you. But you want to try to get the sturdiest, lightest luggage you can because now the airline limits you depending on who you fly with. But for the most part, they limit you at 50 pounds per bag that you're checking, per checked bag. Some airlines will let you check your bag for free, but not all airlines will let you check your bag for free. Hi, Delta. <clears throat> and if you have to check your bag, normally the minimal fee is $25. Delta is $30, or is it $35? I can't remember. Hi, Kara Banks. Banks, but, um, yeah, like I said, that, hey, that, that goes into your planning for your flight and all that, Okay. Now, when you're planning for your flight, you need to think about <clears throat> what you like to endure while you're on the flight. Do you like a window seat? Do you like an aisle seat? Do you care if you're in the front of the plane or the back of the plane? I, you need to think about all of that because now, honey, they got it broke down to where you can pay an amount. You can't readjust your flight time. You can't pick your seat. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. And I'm sorry, call me a little bit bougie, but this is what I'm used to when I travel. I like to know where I'm sitting. Don't be giving my seat at the gate, because I've experienced getting my seat at the gate. 
and usually me and my, my travel partner not sitting together sometimes. Or oh, I'm on an aisle seat, not like a window seat. Because what I do is I like to use the restroom before I get on the plane. So therefore, when I get on the plane, I ain't got to get up once I sit down until we land. And I don't like nobody crisscrossing all over me. And if you got badass kids, I'm going to tell you, can you please do something with your kid? Now, there's a difference between a kid that's in pain because their ears are popping or they're a baby and a kid that's just sitting there jumping up and down, putting their feet on the back of your seat every time you turn around, kicking it. And I, there's a difference. If you got one, of, if you got the ladder, I'm going to turn around and say, excuse me, can you please not have your child kicking the back of my seat? Because just like you paid your money to be on the plane, I paid my money to be on the plane too. And I'm sorry, I'm going to pay that extra $50, 100 I don't care if it's $200. I'm going to pick my seat. And they got some, now they got smart owners. Even if you sit in the exit row, that costs extra. Really? You're going to pay me to help somebody if the plane going down? You're going to charge me for that. Really? Okay, whatever. Anyway, so we got our, our travel arrangements <laughs> together. So now I'm one of those people that I don't know what bag I'm taking until I get ready to pack. For real, for real. Yes, they do. And I don't, I can't stand when there's that three seat. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you've been on a big enough plane, you know there's a portion. There's two seats on this side, maybe three seats on that side, or two seats on that side, three seats in the middle, two seats on the side. I don't like to be that person in the middle, and I don't know these two people on the side of me. That happened to me one time in a national flight. So, you know, I was on the flight for eight hours. I was going home to a funeral. Last minute. Couldn't help it. I said, never again. So far, so good. Okay. So, let's plan to pack what we need, okay? Now, if you're going beach destinations, whatever, you're going to need to be hands-free. So, this is when you need to pack some crossbodies. You need to think lightweight, not only for your luggage, but for the things that you're going to pack, be packing on you when you go on your excursions around the ship. And you want it to be nice and functional. Okay. So, um, I don't know if many of you know. So, we're going to be opening some stuff I already opened because I didn't know what it was. Um, we're going to be talking about what I'm packing or maybe packing and um, footwear. Comfortable footwear, that is, okay, when we get to it. So these are items from QVC as well as Amazon.com. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, whenever QVC has an item, you all should go and check for it on Amazon.com because sometimes it's cheaper on Amazon.com. They're not. Sometimes you might not have to pay shipping, and it'll get to you faster. For real, for real. That's all I got to say about that. Okay. So the first item, uh, I remember y'all, I promised y'all was going to go over y'all Lug. Lug is a brand that's being sold at Kohl's, Amazon.com, really on QVC. It has been the QVC item of the day, QVC special, but I love when, it's one of the things I set on my DVR for when it comes on on QVC. Okay, now this pattern, put that up, is Riverwalk Navy. Okay, can y'all see all those pretty colors in there? So, of course, it goes with my luggage. <clears throat> y'all know I'm a coordinating kind of gal. Okay, and it has RFID protection. Okay, so remember what I said you want to look for something with RFID protection, even if you buy the little cards. Okay, so I figured why not. Now, this item, like I said, for the most part, all of these items can be found on QVC, QVC Amazon.com, and maybe Kohl's. And they do have their own website. It's called, I love their website, luglife.com. <laughs> so, if you're looking for it, hey, but y'all know me, shop for bargains. All right, this is called the Carousel. It's a small crossbody bag, sack, 
in sec a bandolier. Okay, so this is a crossbody bag. Okay, let me show you the features of this bag right quickly. Like, as you can tell, it's soft, it is a crossbody. Okay, now it has a front zipper pocket. Look at that gun metal hardware. Where's my camera? Is it right there? There it is. Gun metal hardware. Love it. Okay, it has a front pocket with a little pocket in there so you can stick some stuff in there like some lip glosses or so then it has another pocket right there Love it. on the back it has a back zipper pocket okay then let's get to the inside oh they say thank you tells you about loves their story we're not gonna go over that um if you want like i said you can find it on qvc this is the inside okay it just has two backslide pockets and it tells you what it is the carousel so if you ever wondering what item it is it always has it right there in the back okay and then this is the strap isn't that nice now <clears throat> The reason I bought this this bag is because it can not only go as a crossbody, but it can also serve as a belt bag as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get this off so I can show y'all right quick. So, lock the claw clasp. And it is removable. Okay. It is adjustable. Right? So, you can wear it like this. Of course, you can wear it as a shoulder bag. <laughs> shoulder bag. You can wear it, you can adjust it and wear it as a crossbody. Okay. However long you want it, it, it hey, it, it'll go. It'll go to the flow if you want it to. Okay. Crossbody. it could go a little bit longer but just just to show you also belt bag now i don't care what y'all say <laughs> belt bag so any bag you could turn it into a belt bag simply by doing it like this and adjust it okay so you can turn any belt bag into a belt bag if, if it does this now what i like about this is that if you want it to feel more secure as a belt bag, it has these loops right here. And you slide the strap in there. Belt bag. All right. <clears throat> Very functional. And this is the carousel. Okay. Remember, the name is always in here. Okay. And this pattern is Riverwalk Navy, but they have other patterns. Hi, M2. Okay. Will she make the trip? More than likely, yes. Okay? <laughs> now, <clears throat> let's see here. Not exactly sure. I ordered some um, special values because I'm one of those people that I like maxi dresses. And when this was the special value, I had to have at least one set. The set came with two dresses. Okay? So now we're thinking about comfort in what we're wearing which will be weather appropriate okay so this is i hate when it don't tell me it just says maxi dress black and maui it was item number a347401 on qvc okay and you got two maxi dresses now one of these might make it this one's black it's just a maxi dress and of course with black you can dress it up with any color right and then we have maui isn't that a pretty pattern if you have the black 
she undone for siesta, this would go with that bag. My sister has that bag. <laughs> this will go with it. Look there. See, there's the leaf prints. Oh my God, just gorgeous. And it's Attitudes by Renee. And the special included two dresses. I think it was like $34.99 or something. Like, I can't remember. $40 at least for two maxi dresses. Isn't that pattern gorgeous? Okay. I know one of my tribe sisters got, got the, that special. So, let's see. What else we got? See, Mr. Q, I'm opening stuff. I'm just saying it took you long enough. <laughs> Extra comment was not needed. <laughs> but that's just him. He can't help himself. Okay. So I'm just going to open stuff because I got tired of trying to match the numbers. And we just going to keep it moving. All right. What is this? Oh, this is my workout vest, y'all. So, a couple of items from Amazon. Um, so, I opened these already because, like I said, I was trying to figure out what it was. Now, this right here, this came as a package. And um, when you go on the cruise, you have to print out your luggage tags. So, to make sure my luggage tags were protected, I ordered these. And of course, the luggage tags are going to go in here. It's like a little ziplock -y thingy. And then these are, are steel. So they can't be cut off. Okay. Which is what I, I like. They won't come off. So that'll protect my luggage tag. And then these came with these, which are beach towel clips. Now, on some of the ships, they, they um you get your towel. And you clip it to your chair. So when the wind comes through, it won't blow your towel away. Okay. Now, these came with this. I think, I can't remember how much it was. Don't matter. They're on Amazon. <laughs> this is the Cruise Tags Luggage E Tag 8. So I got eight luggage tags with the little thing you can put it on there. And then I got four. Beach towel clips, okay? Now, on some ships, if you don't return the towels, they charge your room. I don't need nobody charging me. If the towel flows, floats away, oh, well, you're you supposed to return that towel. So, <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. And, um, yeah. So, but even still, if you're on the beach, you don't want your towel to keep slipping all to the ground and get all sand all on it. So, yeah. Clip it. Yeah, okay. So. Next. Uh, I bought these, some of these for Mr. Q. These are called cooling towels. Now, I am one of those people. Yes, Sonya, they like <laughs> clothespins. <laughs> hey, if you can find some clothespins nowadays, you can find some at Dollar Tree. Clothespins, $1. <laughs> I don't know how many of y'all are young enough to remember your mom hanging clothes on the clothesline. You can still find those, okay? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> for real, for real. These are cooling towels. Now, what is a cooling towel? I bought these for Mr. Q because Mr. Q be on the golf course a lot. I'm just saying, you know, I. I enjoy playing golf, so what's wrong with me playing golf? Not a darn thing is wrong with you playing golf. Makes it easy for us to shop. Well, somewhat easy to shop for you for Father's Day because you have to guess what he don't have. Okay, so I bought these for Mr. Q, and um, these came in a pack of three. They were under $20. That's all I can remember right now, but they come in a pack of three. This is how a cooling towel works. I'm one of those people that's always hot. I don't keep telling you I'm hot. I just, I'm just saying, I'm one of those people that I get hot quicker because I have my own personal summers. Now, what you do with the towel, you can take some regular water 
right? Get the towel wet completely, wring it out, and then put it on you, and the towel helps. It's, it's cooling, okay? It's not going to be ice cold, but it's going to help cool you down, keep a little sweat from your bra. I'm just saying, for real, for real. And uh, like I said, this came in a pack of three. They sell these in different sizes, shapes. I'm for real, for real, okay? You can see what the, the material is. It's like a web material. The technology behind this towel, I have no idea. Hi, the handbag, handbag caller. I have no idea, but Mr. Q uses these since I bought him bought them for him on the golf course, and he does say they help. And trust me, Mr. Q be out there all day. I can't do it. <laughs> but these will help. I'm not saying they're going to be rocket signs, but they're going to help. So I bought this package of three, I figured. And they came in different colors. They make them by different brands. How did I decide which ones to choose? I looked at the ratings. These had a five-star rating of over 100 people. For real, for real. So that's why I bought these and these. To get for cooling towels. Y'all know me. I, if it got a link, I'll put it in after the live. Because uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to have y'all rolling trying to pronounce some of this stuff. <laughs> but yeah, but they work very well. And um, yeah, so I got these. You can find them on Amazon.com. And like I said, I will put the link. I'll share the link after the live and i promise to do it directly after the live because once i leave after i do that i have to go um meet my sales associate okay okay cooling child now one of the other things that i like is okay i have bathing suits but i'm not one of those people that i'm just comfortable lounging around in the bathing suit all day but I never know when I'm going to get in the pool. I'm just saying for real, for real. So what I buy is I buy these things called, what some people call wraparounds, cover-ups. You know what I'm saying? So I buy those. Now, what I be looking for is something that's cute. <laughs> now, you can find these on Amazon. You can, you can find them just about everywhere, Okay. Some people, when I unwrap this, you're going to be like, that look like a muumuu. And for those of y'all who don't know what a muumuu is, a muumuu is a house dress, okay? But they're real thin, okay? I'm one of those people, I don't like my arms hanging out a lot. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not in the pool and I'm just sitting lounge by the by the pool and the cabana or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I, I just, I want to be pool ready, but I just don't want to just have nothing on my arms. I, I'm just that type of person. Don't, don't worry about it. It's just me. It's not you. It's me. Okay? This is for me. So, this is one of the cover-ups I bought. It was $15.99, $16. It wasn't over $20. Okay? So, they have these, and they're usually one size fit. I, I always look for the plus size because I'm a fluffy girl. I want to make sure it fit. Now, you can buy any ones you want, but I'm just saying. Florentine Quack say her mom called them dusters, okay? Dusters, moo-moos, house dresses, you name it. <laughs> Everybody got a name for it, and that, that is cute. My, my mom called the ones that button up for dusters, but it don't matter. Everybody got a name for them, and they're cute, okay? And they're comfortable, all right? So, this year... Yes, you might can make your own, but I don't sew. <laughs> okay? So, like I said, duster, cover all, cover ups, cover down, wraps. Okay? And this is one of those one size fit alls. And I like it. Got the little tassels on the bottom. And you know blue is my favorite color. So, I don't care if it matches my swimsuit or not. I'm just saying, moo-moos, dusters, cover alls. It's cute. It don't look like it fit, but it does. See? See the pattern? Some of them have little drawstrings right there, so you can draw it close if it doesn't, you know, if it's too big. Some of them come with little strings. Some of them come as wraps, and you can wear them different ways. I got one in Bahamas. I can't find it, so I said, let me just go on and buy another one. So I bought one. So, yeah, I have a couple, but, yeah. That's what I 
to thank y'all. Check y'all. Share Amazon.com. All right. Um, another thing I bought from Amazon.com, which many people don't need, but I remember being on a queue. Sometimes I needed my little cruise bag thingy to get into shows and different things of that nature. I don't want to have to look for it all the time. I'm not going to lie. I saw these. It popped up when I bought the Moo Moo. Excuse me, the uh, luggage tag thingies. So I bought them. These little laners. <laughs> I bought them for me and my sister. I just thought they were cute. Look at the little pattern. Aren't they cute? <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? I, I, I just thought they were cute. And they're going to hold my little cruise bag. And if I'm going to open them for y'all. So, it's a little laners. Nothing special. I just like the little pattern. See, they got the little flip flops. Got the little, all the things we're going to be taking part in. While we're on the cruise, they got the little drinky drinks, shades, flip-flops, little palm trees. I'm sure we're going to see some palm trees. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be on the boat, so there's the anchor and the boat. And then, what I like about this laner, okay, is that you can detach it, right? It's retractable right okay then you put your little thingies in there it's a little case but even if you don't you want to keep it in something that's going to protect it you can always take this off you see what i'm saying i can't remember how much i paid for it i thank you give please redeem within 10 days of purchase 4.99 off of my cruise well, whatever but yeah i just thought they were cute and we're not gonna be twins and stuff in our laners <laughs> so i just went on ahead and bought them i just thought they were cute okay <clears throat> all right oh i forgot one of the most important things make sure you print out if they tell you to print out something Make sure you print it out before you leave. I always print out two copies. For real, for real. Okay, this is this is. Oh, okay. So this is one of the um, this is love. I didn't think I had a wallet because I went to check my order history to see if I did decide to order wallet and I didn't see it. So I ordered another wallet. Now, this is one of those things. What I do with my scissors? About Amazon.com. They have what is called warehouse deals, okay? What that means is sometimes the item might have got damaged in transit to, you know, Amazon. Um, the package might be open. As you can see, it's prob this is repackaged. Um, sometimes it might have a little nick, a little ding, kind of like a scratch and dent sale, if, per se, if, if you can look at it like that. So how do you find it? When you're on Amazon.com and you're looking at an item, keep scrolling down till you see um, buy used or something like that. And then it said see all selling options. Click that <clears throat> and it'll list all the options and you'll see it'll say Amazon warehouse deal. It'll give you the condition of the item, used, like new, used, very good. You see what I'm saying? This was a used very good okay item and it does tell you whether it comes repackaging whatever this is repackaged now okay see it's the brown color it is it does coordinate see what i'm saying the colors in there so this is, let me open up and tell you all And this is the reason why I wanted this one. I think it's called the Tandem Wallet 2. And I wanted this one because it has a strap. Okay. So, on the front, you have a pocket. Now, according to the video on QVC, you should be able to put your cell phone in there. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> has a little lug logo right there. Gunmetal hardware on this one. 
On the back, it does have a back pocket. When expecting that camo print, but okay. Um, zip open. Here's all your functionality right here. Wasn't expecting all of that in there, but it don't matter. ID card window. You could put your boarding pass, passport in there. Got room for your cards. Let's see how many credit card slots. One, two, three, four, five, six. 11 credit card slots in the ID card window. Okay. And it is RFID. It is RFID. Okay. So when I'm, I got my stuff, my boarding pass, I put my boarding pass. See, there's the name. Look, Tandem. I got my boarding pass. I put that in there along with my um, passport. So, yeah. Love that. Love that. All right. And I have a wrist strap. And it is detachable. See, it has a lobster claw clasp. I could detach that if I want to. So I had bought this. I didn't know I had a wallet. But, hey, whatever. You can always use a wallet. Okay, let's see. What else we got? And that was an Amazon warehouse deal. Normally, that wallet runs, I think, $30. Um, I think I got it for $17. And that included shipping. Because it was an Amazon warehouse deal. And as you can see, think of it for those of you who shop QVC as is. Mm-hmm, for real, for real. Okay, as you can see, there's nothing wrong with it. It's brand new. Never been used. No nicks, no nothing. <clears throat> Amazon warehouse deals. Okay, okay. All right, so let's see. What else did we get from Amazon? I love their boxes. They be advertising stuff. Like their little shows and stuff. Whole Foods. Amazon just doing the most, ain't they? <laughs> okay. Can't flash my address. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got. This is another one of my um my wraps. Isn't that a pretty pattern? So I'm gonna open this so y'all can see how it's made. Now this one I know I think it was $16. Again, the way I determined what to buy was by looking at the reviews. And of course, you want to open these and try them on just to make sure that they fit. But isn't that cute? Yeah. Love her. Okay. Let's see. We got a couple of other things. So if y'all have to leave, just know y'all can watch the replay. I bet you're like, dang, it's cute. She thinks a lot into travel. Yes, I do. I sometimes overthink things. Okay. <clears throat> so one of the items that I bought, I want to say, some people say it's a no-no on the ship. But I'm bringing it anyway. Okay. Everybody got to know. Just saying. So, but if you're traveling, one of the things a lot of people hate to use Especially in the hotel, it's the hotel line. Okay? Sometimes you just want something to knock the, the wrinkles out. Okay? So, I bought this. This is a travel iron. It was under $25. And as you can see, it's a little small handheld. This is enough to kind of knock the wrinkles out. You put a little water in it. And it stings. And I bought this one for Mr. Q for when he travels because a lot of times he be complaining about the iron and if it get water on his shirt. And then I bought a little travel case to put it in so that way Mr. Q can travel. But you should, you should always have a travel iron. You never know. And it's small enough that it doesn't take up a lot of room 
in your suitcase. This one has a five-star rating, so that's why I went with this one. Yes, I look at the ratings and how many people rated it when I buy stuff on Amazon. Because, honey, ain't nobody got time for no foolishness. Now, this next one, um, many of my tribe sisters recommended it. Shout out, hey. Now, I was mad at Bad Bath & Beyond because... I picked out the one I wanted to buy. I wanted the gold one. Coordinate with my luggage. Then later on when I got off from work and went to buy it, they had took all of them off saying this item is no longer sold. What? I just looked at it. So of course, I went to Old Faithful, Amazon.com and found it on there for $17.95. This is my Joy Magano, the original My Little Steamer Go Mini. Now, they have a regular size one. This is the mini, okay? So, it's ready in 60 seconds, has six powerful steaming channels, and perfect for travel, okay? So, I bought this Steam Away Wrinkles in seconds. So, I bought this to travel, and as you can see here, See if I can get it up close so y'all can see it. It shows you the difference between the regular one and the mini. This one looks pretty big for a mini, though. Yeah. Okay. So this this one this one's mine. <laughs> so I better make sure I hide that because Mr. Q might end up. Um... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So if you have to leave, don't forget to thumbs up this video before you leave. Okay, so now we are down to the last few items. And these items are from QVC. And they were TSVs. And I was just curious because I need some comfortable flip-flops, if you will, to flip-flop around while I'm on the boat or while I'm, I'm on the beach. You know what I'm saying? So, I bought these. These are, I don't know. <laughs> they were the TSV. I bought them in two colors. This is one of them. Hold up. I hate when they put it, the, um, they put the, um, invoice in the envelope on the box. I really truly hate that. Okay. Okay. So these are called the Spinco or Spinso Orthotic Slide Sandals. And this is Colo Bohema Navy. Now, when these were the TSV, they had these in the slide form or the T form, um, thong form. That's what I, I call it, T, but thong form. And they're supposed to be orthotic sandals. So I thought, well, why not give them a try? So I'm going to give them a try. <laughs> Okay, we're going to give them a try. Um, that's one of the orthotic sandals I bought because you need some real good, comfortable shoes, something that's going to support your feet. Even if they're flip-flops, that's what you need. Okay. Let's see. And I am telling you and finally making their way to my house. <laughs> it's about freaking time. <laughs> I can't stand when QVC puts stuff on back order. Um, these are the Vionic Thumb Sandals in black. They were the TSV. They had them in different colors. And I never had any Vionic flip-flops. 
and they're recommended by my um tribe. Hi. Oh, um, Patty says she loves bionic shoes. Okay. So I'm gonna be wearing them. This matter of fact, probably, I'm start putting them. I'm wearing them today. She so got the nice little art support. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we're going to wear these because I plan on taking these on my trip to help support my little feet so I could be happy feet. <laughs> okay. So, I think that's going to that's gonna do it. Um, this is something. Ah. I'm missing some um some um pieces. I don't know where they went. For my lug. Some lug pieces. But um I have to do this one. This this last one for today because um unless y'all want me to go get them, I'll go get them. My other pieces that I bought. Uh, one of the most popular bags for love is the Puddle Jumper. Yes, it's called the Puddle Jumper, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, I got one of those. I remember I buying one, whatever. Because what I'm thinking in my mind is going through the airport with my carry-on, with all the stuff that I have to carry on with me to make sure it don't get lost. I want my bag to be light because my backpack... Um, I think one of my, the zippers is broken and I'm gonna try to get it fixed cause it's a monogram backpack and I love it. So I was at home sick one day and love came on and I ordered it along with a few other things. Like I said, if y'all want to wait, I'll go get it. But otherwise this is going to be the last item and I'll probably just do a separate video for it. Okay. So this is. The Lug East West Puddle Jumper Duffel Bag in Riverwalk Naked. Now they have two. Besides the original one, I'm talking about currently they're selling two, okay, on QVC. You have the East West, which is what I got, and then you have the North South. And for those of you who are bag loaders and know about bags, it's just as it sounds. Now, when they say East West, that means it's the wide version. The North South is the more popular version, up and down. And this one is it's the same, except for they just turned it on the side, okay? This is going to be my carry-on. Okay. It has handles with these nice, comfortable grips on them. Oh, my gosh, it's comfy, comfy. All right. It has a pocket, a front pocket, and it has, see, it has the little felt lining in the pocket. That's for your phone. You gotta always be, and it's, it has a magnetic snap closure. That's for your phone. See, it just disappeared, didn't it? Okay. Then you have these two pockets on the front. It's magnetic and a zip. Okay. You have two of those. Then you have one long one. Magnetic snap closure. And it has a zip pocket. Now, this right here is where I plan to put my little wallet. And as you can see, it fits with no issues. Okay? That's going to be where my little wallet goes. All right? On the back, it also has a zip pocket. So you can put stuff in there if you want to, magazines and whatnot. Then if you want to carry it on with the handle of your bag, it has that sleeve so you can fit it comfortably over the handle of your bag. Okay. Then it has these two, we're not done, nice size pockets on both sides. I always have to have me some water. And um, if I want, I can put an umbrella on the side if I like or another beverage 
of my choice or whatever I choose to fit on that side. Okay, then we open it up. Here's our strap. Gummelly hardware, adjustable, and it has a shoulder pad. Look, Dooney. <laughs> so it'll be comfy on, see so you got that little none slide grip on there. Nice, comfy, little jelly. It's gonna feel so much comfortable to your shoulder if you have, if you pack this bag, boy. Now this is diaper bag worthy, I must tell you, okay? On the back wall, okay, you have this zip pocket, and it is plastic line. It's, it's, it's two compartments, but it's plastic line, okay? If you like me and my tri sister Kimberly Mines, and you like to carry wet naps, wet ones, uh, Clorox wipes, that's, the, that's what you're going to put in that pocket right there, and you'll be able to zip it up. And don't worry about it spilling all over into your bag, okay? On the back of the front wall, there's another pocket. You can put little stuff in there if you want. And then you got three slide pockets for other stuff that you may put. And look at how big this thing is, okay? Now, the main thing that I like, this is nylon. Can y'all see that? This is nylon. Okay, one of the things you won't have to worry about is your bottom getting soiled because it has, see that on the bottom? You can just wipe that clean if you accidentally sit it down on something, it'll just wipe clean. And this is the Puddle East West Puddle Jumper by Love. This is my carry-on bag, since I, I can't use my backpack. Now, the, the other one is north-south. It's basically the same size, except for it's made like this. And just switch the pockets around. That's all. And this one, like I said, is Riverwalk Navy. Um, I got it when it was the special for $89. Right now, these bags run, I think, $90. At least a hundred dollars, and like I said, you can do the, the east west or the north south. They'll still have these pockets on there. Only difference is the north south one has this little pocket, like if you want to put shoes or something in it. No, I don't need that. But if you need it, if you want it, then they still selling it on QVC, they also sell it on Amazon.com. Compare the prices, you never know which one is cheaper. Um the color pattern will depend on how old it is. This is an older color pattern that's basically retired because if you notice, if you, you look on QVC, there's not much of it. But I'm just saying, but you can always find this color pattern on Amazon.com. And it's light. It's so light. I love it. And it has RFID. I love her. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna do it for um travel time today. Are you prepared to travel? I know I am. All right, so thank you for joining me today. Like I said, when I get off, I'm gonna put the links to the items in the description so that way, if you are looking for them or just looking for something like it, you'll know what it's called, and um, you have it. <laughs> and what I do is, since this video is so long, I will come back and do another video on all my lug items, okay? So that way, the ones that I missed today, I can show y'all those, but trust me, they have videos on YouTube, they have videos on QVC.com, for the most part, when you click the item, and you can learn more about Lug. I, I, I love my items. I know I haven't carried them, but I can already tell you right now I love them already because they're going to be light on my shoulder. Because every backpack I looked at, I, I, was, I, I can't. It's going to be heavy because even my 
Dooney and Burke backpack was heavy when I put all my stuff in it. And I said, nope, we're not doing that for the plane ever again. <laughs> it's a nice backpack. It holds everything. But we for the plane, no. Now, road trip, that's a different story. But for the plane, no. Okay? So, thank y'all for joining me for trial time. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. And um, don't forget, um, haven't had enough of the trial. Want more? Just want to talk about handbags and things, then see us tomorrow on Juniad 615's channel, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Of course, trial time is on Saturdays, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And then don't forget to join your girl, Mrs. Q, for For Real Fridays on Friday. <laughs> Fridays at... 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, 7.30 Central Standard Time. I hope y'all have a nice and blessed Saturday, but a sister has got to go so I can get this stuff in the video for y'all before I head out today. All right? Thank y'all for joining me. Love y'all.